Hey guys, today I'm super excited to talk to you about Star Wars Tales of the Jedi. Let's dive into it. Now this is available to stream now on Disney Plus already. Let's get my spoiler free review. But before we do, if this is your first time here, I'd love it if you take one second and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more videos like this one. Okay, let's talk about it. All right, guys, so I was able to see this a couple of weeks ago, and I've got to say I highly recommend it. So if you've been on the edge of if you're going to check it out or not, I absolutely think you should. That said, power through the first episode. Something about it just isn't as, as, as exciting. It doesn't, like, grab you like it should, and it's kind of like... It's good. It's it's not bad. It's good. It's it's Ahsoka based, and I love me some Ahsoka. If you guys have been around my channel for a while, you know that. Um, and and but it just doesn't really suck you in. So get past that one, and I promise you, it will pay off. Now, what I truly love about this series is that it fills in some gaps that fans just haven't gotten to explore. So if you don't know about it, it is a six episode short animated series. Each one is about like, it's up to like 20 minutes long. I Honestly, I think the longest one is like 17 minutes maybe. And it focuses on Ahsoka and her journey to the light side and Count Dooku and his journey to the dark side. Each episode will focus on one of them going back and forth throughout the season. The season, I say, it's called season one, so maybe we'll get more, I hope, fingers crossed. It'd be very interesting to explore other Jedi and Sith in this way. I really, truly enjoyed just the the connection to things and, and a couple of questions are answered, okay? I don't want to get into spoilers, but you see what happened to a certain character that people are like, this character just disappeared. What happened to them? Now you know, and it is not what I was expecting, and I was really, really happy about the way they did it. Plus, the animation style is phenomenal. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous and beautiful to watch. The stories really, truly work because, you guys, it's from Dave Filoni, and the dude knows what he's doing when it comes to Star Wars, okay? He's got a little bit of a background, so he knows, okay? So it's really, really done well. Uh, it's very fun. Like I said, the first episode, you really just have to power through, but after that, oh, man, there were some moments that had me tearing up. I mean, I absolutely loved hearing Ashley Eckstein back as Ahsoka, uh, just getting that voice. There's some moments that really grabbed me just because of her character, but also just hearing her voice again gave me chills. I just, I absolutely loved it. She's my Ahsoka and, and I adore her. She's one of the nicest human beings in the entire world. So I was very, very, very happy to hear her back uh, as her iconic character, Ahsoka. So if you guys have already watched Star Wars Tales of the Jedi, by the time you got to this review, let me know what you thought about it down below in the comments. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos like this one. You guys can follow me over on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I'm Mama's Geeky over there, M-A-M-A-S-G-E-E-K-Y. You can also check me out at mamasgeeky.com. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much to all my monetary supporters, my members, and my Patreons. Love you guys.